Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Heat versus video. And this time I'm going to be talking about Heat versus High Max. Now, this one isn't as clear cut as a lot of them are. Well, maybe not a lot of them are. Especially not Dynamo. But like, <laughs> This one's not very clear-cut, I mean, because Hymax actually has extremely high defensive capabilities um, in comparison to most enemies that X and Zero have faced throughout the series. But at the same time, they found a way to defeat him. And keeping that in mind, bearing that thought in mind, and looking at how things have played out with others in the series along with them I think I can give a decent analysis as to how Heat both versions of him would do against High Max now first version Heat he'd probably actually have a little bit of trouble with High Max actually quite a bit of trouble with him because of that outstanding defensive capability that he has and I do believe that he would take some time to analyze Hamax and get a good read on him and figure out what his weakness is. Problem is, I think that the X version of Heat might take too long doing this. Um, just quite simply due to his experience or lack thereof would kind of put him against, at a disadvantage against Hamax. And and again, Hamax falls in that special category like Vile and Dynamo do, where I don't believe that they have the Maverick virus, just that they're operating of a different accord, which would put them at odds with the Maverick Hunters. So I don't see the anti-Maverick virus being much help here, because um, it can't cleanse anything that's not there. And while I do believe Heat's other abilities would make him a formidable match, at least the X version of Heat, I do think that it would make him a formidable match against High Max. I think this is a mismatch in his against him in this situation. And it's just quite simply because of his lack of experience. I'd actually say the same thing for, for Axel too, because of a lack of experience. I think High Max would get the upper hand in most situations. Again, not saying that there's no way he can be beaten by him, but it's just in more situations I think High Max will actually take this win, just because of boy, because again he has an extremely high defensive capability. Not to mention that he has high, um, he has a high offensive output, but he has an extreme amount of defense. So, and that's something to really take into account because Heat's going to be bouncing off of him for a while before he can actually do any damage to him. And when he finally does figure out how to do damage to him, it may be too late. Like, and that, that's just the situation in Blake. And Blake, in most of these situations, where most of these I'm thinking of the characters one on one with no backup, no sort of help. Now, quite obviously, if Extra Zero were there, he'd find a way to beat High Max quite literally. <laughs> he'd figure it out a lot faster because he'd have help from someone who's already fought them. Or fought him. But. Outside of that, no. like in the one-on-one -on -one scenario situation with no preparation, no help, I, I, like I'll give, I'd say this is a a three out of ten victory chance for Heat. So this is definitely something that High Max is favor. So I'd say yeah, High Max will win seventy percent of the time. Most of the time, it's really with with the X version of Heat. Now. <clears throat> The more updated version, honestly, I think he'd, he'd take high max, but it'd be a high difficulty fight. Like, he would, like, his, again, his analysis capabilities and skills and stuff are higher tier than X version Heat. Like, and I, like, and I've already told you guys, I put this version of Heat on the same tier as Dynamo. Like, whereas, like, there's that area, that gray area where, yeah, like, he's as good as an s rank hunter maybe a little bit better but still in the same category as them and 
that's the same place I would put high max anyway. So it's not like this fight would be all uh, like this fight wouldn't be on equal footing because it quite obviously would be. And I could see the the updated version of Heat using his uh, his uh, using his abilities to his full extent and pushing High Max until he figured out his weakness. Like and like and he's got a like he's got some time to try a bunch of different things. And it's not like he's a fresh baby face in comparison to the X version of Heat. The X version of Heat is supposed to be extremely inexperienced. So, like, again, that puts him at a disadvantage because he doesn't know all of his potential. Yet. I mean, he, like, he, he becomes aware of it throughout the story I had planned, but he doesn't fully, fully get it until the very last minute. So, like, bearing all that in mind, that's why I would say this version, he definitely, he'd more likely take high max. He'd beat him. Like, and it wouldn't be some, oh, I'm going to step out and it's going to be super simple. I'm going to beat him in two swings type deal. No, it, it, it would be a high difficulty fight. It would take a while because he'd have to wear high max down and figure out what his weakness is. But using his own skills and his additional abilities, I think he, he'd figure out a way to take high max basically in reverse <laughs> 7 out of 10 times he'd, he'd take he'd take high max 7 out of 10 times so young heat would lose 3 out of 10 times uh, uh, lose 7 out of 10 times new heat would win 7 out of 10 times this is probably the best way to put it X heat would lose 7 out of 10 times new heat would win 7 out of 10 times um it's just, again, it's just me just trying to give a decent analysis on where these characters stand as far as capabilities, or which versions of Heat stand at what place as far as capabilities go, just in case people are curious. So, like, I know that these videos don't have a major following, but there have been a few people that have really appreciated it, so that's why I've been keeping them going for now. Um, but there aren't a whole lot more <laughs> left to these. I think I've got like three, maybe four more of these left. And then that'll be it for the Heat Versus series. Unless people start requesting specific characters for me to put Heat up against. I mean, if that happens, I'll do them. Like, I'll do the videos. It's just like, right now, like, that was all I had planned. <laughs> Actually, I'm well beyond what I had planned by this point. Because I've only planned like five videos originally. And I'm up to, I think this is nine. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it just happened. I kind of just fell into doing it once I got going with it. And I was like, oh, I can put heat against this guy. And then gives this guy. But, um, yeah, I'll close it off here. So thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out.